with my new video that is on eye ointments and in this video we are going to learn about various eye ointments like antibacterial antifungal and antiviral and at the last i have mentioned a table that is for the various diseases and for those diseases what we are going to use as a drug uh, i have mentioned that in that table so hope you all understand about eye ointments these look like this as a tube and uh, have a look over this video and we are going to learn about eye ointments in ophthalmology discussion you all know that eye ointments are used to treat or prevent the infection in eye and that's what along with drops you all know that ointments are used to treat many eye problems because they go right into your eye they can start to work much faster than a medicine you take by mouth it it works faster than a medicine we will take uh, in our mouth and uh, it is used to treat many eye problems related to infections majorly then the eye ointments are drugs in greasy semi solid form these are not in the uh, liquid form these are in the greasy and semi solid form different to drops your body warmth make them melt our body warmth make them melt in a uh, greasy or solid form to a liquid form then once you apply ointment to your eye it breaks into tiny drops you all know about this it will it will get break into a tiny drops these are the safest treatment most people handle them well but they might sting and make your sight blurry because of that doctor suggest to use it before you go to bed or right before it is not used in a day time because it gets sting and your sight get blurry after applying it but doctors suggest this because of this only doctors suggest that you should use it at the bed time now why you need it why we need ointments different types are used to prevent or treat acute or long term eye problems these prevent acute or long term eye problems acute means these are the temporary uh treat these are used for temporary treatment and for the long term treatments eye infections just uh, any eye infection is there in our eye it is being treated by ointments also inflammatory conditions in the inflammatory conditions the burning sensation type we need uh eye ointments to treat them although drops are also useful for that but ointments are most safest treatment then soreness soreness means uh pain pain related to dry eye syndrome that is in the uh, that is to be treated in by the ointments okay then first we need to learn that in the drops also i have told you that there are the categories we uh, majorly use the drops in that antibacterial drops are used antiviral drops are used antifungal drops are used as in the ointment also we will learn about antibacterial ointments antiviral ointments antifungal ointments and at the last i have prepared a trip table for those who want to learn about the various diseases drugs okay so antibacterial drugs antibacterial drugs they stop the growth of bacteria infecting a surface of an eye it means whenever there is a infecting surface related to bacteria it means whenever the bacteria is causing in our eye a surface infection then we use antibacterial drugs there the neomycin polymyxin bacitracin are the commonest drug we use as an antibacterial ointment applied 3 to 4 hours for 7 to 10 days we apply these antibacterial drugs as 3 to 4 hours for 7 to 10 days side effects of these antibacterial drugs are eye pain irritation burning sensation swelling redness of eye or eyelid worsening of eye discharge red scaly patches around eye or eyelid rash and hives hives and rash are the thing like redness on the face and with the pimples also breathing difficulty in swallowing dizziness sleepiness the fungal ointments are used to treat fungal eye infection as a treatment in eye then 
It is used as two to three weeks until the infection is cured. The antifungal ointments are used till then whenever our disease or our infection get cured. Hopefully, it will work uh, within two to three weeks. But if not, we will apply it further on. Then netamycin. Netamycin is the commonest drug we use as an eye ointment in antifungal category. Applied three to four hours for seven to ten days. Side effects are discomfort and irritation. Uh, we will experience as a side effect discomfort and irritation after applying antifungal ointment. Okay. Then antiviral ointment. Antiviral ointment is majorly used with the disease herpes simplex virus. Most probably, the herpes sim herpes simplex virus is a categorized viral disease or viral infection for our eye. Then it is used to treat viral infection like gencyclovir is used as an eye ointment most commonly for antiviral ointments. Then treat it treats herpes infection of the eye. It lowers the risk of complication after herpes effect like decreased vision or blindness. Whenever there is a herpes simplex virus infection is there in any patient's eye, then the patient experience the blurriness, the vision get decreased, the blindness is there. That should be cured or should be stopped by gencyclovir eye ointment. It means it reduces that complication. If the patient get uh, the treatment with eye ointment like gencyclovir in, anti, uh, in the viral infection, then he should experience that he is having a lower risk of complication with the decreased vision or blindness. It is usually used as five times a day about three hours while awake. Until the eye has healed, up, uh, then three times a day for seven or more days. The gencyclovir is not just used as a weekly uh, oint as a weekly ointment, but it is used after healing also. If the eye has been healed, sometimes eye get healed also. Then the viral ointments are used after that also. And with a three times a day for seven more days. So that it get completely healed. The side effects for antiviral ointments are blurring of vision, irritation. What I have prepared for you is various eye drugs we used in various eye diseases. I have prepared a table for this. Hope you all understand with that table. There are the names of drugs we used in, uh, in the various diseases of eye. For various disease, the drugs are used are as follows. First, in blepharitis condition, we use polymyxin B, neomycin, bacitracin. In blepharoconjunctivitis situation, we use bacitracin, neomycin, polymyxin B. In CMV retinitis, CMV means the cyto megalovirus retinitis in that situation we use gencyclovir in conjunctivitis we use sulfacetamide sodium getifloxacin then in conjunctival bacterial situation we use chlorophenicol bacitracin polymyxin b tobramycin azithromycin bacifloxacin gentamycin erythromycin levofloxacin neomycin polymyxin b of floxacin then the corneal ulcer. In corneal ulcer, we use ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, or floxacin. Then in eye conditions, we use sulfacetamide, sodium, netamycin. In herpes simplex, dendritic keratitis, we use gencyclovir. Herpetic keratitis, we use idozuridine, trifluridine. Then in hardiolum condition, we use bacitracin, polymycin B, neomycin. In keratitis situation, we use the same bacitracin, polymyxin B, neomycin. In keratoconjunctivitis, we use still the same bacitracin, polymyxin B, neomycin. Neonatal conjunctivitis, we use azithromycin. Neonatal conjunctivitis is the uh, 
द बेबी विद इन द नाइन मंथ हैविंग कंजंक्टिवाइटिस इन दैट सिचुएशन वी यूज एजिथ्रोमाइसिन ट्रक ट्रेकोमा वी यूज सल्फेसिटमाइट सोडियम होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दिस थिंग्स थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग योर प्रीशियस टाइम होप यू ऑल गेट इट यू मे फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एट द रेट ऑफ थर्मोलॉजी टॉक्स ऑन टेलीग्राम एट द रेट ऑफ थर्मोलॉजी डिस्कशन इन ऑप्टॉम वर्ल्ड दिस इज अ ग्रुप वेयर यू कैन ज्वाइन एंड जस्ट शेयर योर लिंक्स वट एवर यू हैव अ नॉलेज अबाउट ऑफ थर्मोलॉजी यू कैन शेयर एट इन दैट एंड यू कैन ज्वाइन आर ग्रुप डिस्कशन ऑल्सो दैट इज ऑन our group of thermology discussion in optom world on youtube you may follow me on ophthalmology discussion on fb you may follow me on ophthalmology lectures please like it share it and subscribe it if you found it useful thank you so much